we have got the biggest single event race that we have had yet at Backyard MX. Uh, I know a combination of riders are still trying to load in, uh, but there are so many riders that they are not even all going to populate. Um, so, of course, one of the main things that I want to talk about here tonight um, is Mojo, our boy Mojo here, factory goon. Um, he is currently sitting in the lead in the B class, uh, defaulted to the lead once the, the points leaders, McManus and Impus, um, were moved up to A class. So Mojo is sitting in the lead in B class. We will talk to him later tonight. Um, right now, we're going to back out here and get ready for this gate drop. Man, this is the biggest turnout we've had at Backyard MX. I hope you guys enjoy. Apologies for all the technical difficulties, but the gate is down, and let's get it started. Chaos in the first corners, as expected. Let's get over here and see who gets the whole shot. Impus actually grabs the whole shot. How does this man do it? Penguin is up front with him. Oh, and he goes down. Impus met, might have cross-jumped on Penguin there a little bit. Jackson takes second place. Now, so Jackson is a B-class rider. Impus is an A-class rider. They are on the track together, uh, but they will be scored separately. So a lot, of, a lot of new faces here tonight. The series is growing. Um, but we are we are up and running, man. It's going to be a lot of in and out. That's just the name of the game um, in terms of riders popping in and out of view. Let's see here. Let me go back to our auto camera. Man, there are so many riders that the camera really does not want to... The camera is having a hard time locking on. Alright, so Impus is up front. Uh, respectfully, that's nothing new. Jackson is... Oh, Jackson goes down trying to push hard. Look at the, the carnage in the corner here. People are, are falling over into the other lane. Impus in the lead as he comes through the whoops. Second place, I believe, right now is a battle. Looks like uh, Rufy is in second, followed by Penguin in third, and Jackson in fourth. Hunter Deicher, um, he is in fifth place currently. He, Hunter is another A-class rider. Penguin is an A-class rider. Um, so right now, Impus is, is doing well for himself, starting to check out and get a good lead. But the problem here is, is he's going to run into lap traffic quick. Um, so we've got Penguin who's trying to battle up uh, on Rufy for second place right now and try to catch the position and get on Impus's tail as quick as he can uh, and hopefully Impus gets slowed up by some lap riders and that gives Penguin a chance to catch up as well as Hunter. Looks like Kyler's probably in fifth place, Jackson in sixth. So at some point Kyler made the move on Jackson. I'm going to come up here and stick with this battle uh, for third place between Hunter and Rufy. Hunter is not trying to let some... Oh, and they go down. They come in together. You know, on any other track, that might have been a clean line to try to jump on the inside and take it away from Rufy, but they connect and they crash on the berm. So I don't know precisely what position that puts Hunter back in, but we will find out in just a moment as we cross the finish line and update timing and scoring. Penguin, I believe, is going to be in second. So Impus up front, Penguin is in second, Kyler is in third, Hunter is in fourth, and Phil is in fifth. Let's see if it'll let me uh, set the auto camera with, Re, with Rye here. Very well it does. Let's talk about Rye for a second. Um, joined, uh, joined Backyard MX at round two. Um, you know, his... his finishes for the last three rounds don't necessarily paint the perfect picture of the kind of rider he is. He had some bad luck on the start um, at round three in Washington, and I think he came back from last place to a fifth place finish, and that was during the time that we did not have three classes. So you're looking at a fifth place finish against the fastest that Backyard MX has to offer. Unfortunately, he was not able to make it to round four. Um, so he is, you know... We appreciate everyone's patience throughout the Backyard MX series. Uh, not every rider is going to be able to make it to every round. And Rye goes down. Rye goes down, and that's going to put him probably back. 
assuming he was in 12th when he went down, he might be looking at a 13th or 14th place uh, place right now. One shot goes by, and one shot was in 19th. So, man, these two guys are going to battle hard. Rye is a, currently an A-class rider, battling with one shot for a position here. And they both go down in that corner. That corner is going to ruin people's night. Let's talk about Mojo here for a moment. So, like I said earlier, Mojo is currently leading the B-class by default after the A-class and B-class separation occurred. Um, so, running the red plate here. Uh, he's, he's had a pretty consistent run, uh, starting with round two at Thursday night. Motocross ended up in sixth place, eighth at Washington, and then another sixth place finish at Unadilla. Um, so we'll see what Mojo can, can bring out here tonight. There's still a lot of racing left. It looks like he is behind Zero Wolf, so I think knowing Zero and knowing Mojo, they might be able to kind of latch on to each other and work together to make up through the pack here. Uh, let's check out our leader, though. This is the, the man everybody, you got to love him or hate him, depending on who you are. So Impus is currently in, in the lead. Um, for the Backyard MX A-Class with 96 points. Uh, Impus had a third place finish at our second round and then went on to win the next two rounds. Uh, I don't think McManus is here tonight to challenge for that position. McManus um, went on to race the, the PDMX series tonight. So obviously McManus is a very fast guy, um, very capable of competing in, in PDMX. So... Hopefully he's putting on a good show and representing Factory Goon well. Um, but Impus is certainly, um, you know, in, in contention for a serious win here. And it doesn't look like his red plate is going to be challenged very much at all tonight. So let's go back and try to find where second place is. Looks like Penguin is in second and he is far behind. But Hunter is still very close to him. Uh, Paradox, if you see anything else worthy of, of, of a battle to be watched, let me know. I'm going to keep eyes on Penguin and Hunter here. Hunter might, might get lucky. I might get the, the, the spectator and commentator's curse on Penguin here and give Hunter some time to catch up. Uh, jokes, of course. I hope Penguin does not go down, but it seems to be, it seems to be the trend. So Hunter's in third, Penguin's in second. He's trying to catch up here and put on a battle, but, you know, combining... Ooh... Emerald almost takes out Hunter. Good on Hunter to weave through that and not and, and avoid the crash. Um, <clears throat> but uh, back to what I was saying, we, we combined the A and the B class together tonight, you know, and I don't know if this is a true statement for the rest of the field, but these three A class riders very quickly made their way to the front. Obviously, Impus has checked out, but Hunter and Penguin are currently in the A class and they are battling for second place. So. You know, uh, there there may be some other situations that occur on track which could cause some 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 tension between the two classes. An A class rider could get stuck in some B class traffic. Um, we hope to have the A class in their own moto soon. We just only have a very few handful of them, um, so it made sense to put them on the track with the B class. Penguin getting stylish over the over the finish line there, trying to throw it in Hunter's face. And out here and penguin does go down i don't know if he was trying to take the inside and and kind of got thrown up on these braking bumps and pushed to the outside berm but penguin goes down hunter takes the second place position penguin getting a little squirrely here rear tire digging in and uh gaining some traction through the honda through the front wheel up sorry lag there for a moment jackson is still in fourth kyler in fifth and phil in sixth Man, these are all very familiar names. These th these are guys who have been with Backyard MX for a few weeks now. Uh, very fast guys, and they're starting to prove their worth here. Snowboard, let's see, Snowboard is currently in eighth place. Very nice. Okay. Let's try to find, oh, it looks like we are joined by Hayden Deegan tonight. You know that's the real one. You know that's the real Hayden Deegan, and he came out to Backyard because he heard it was so dope. Shout out to Danger Boy. Um, let's find Impus here. So Impus is crossing the finish line now. Let's see if we can get some eyes on Hunter and Penguin again. Are they any closer now than they were a little bit ago? So Hunter is in, is coming up across lap traffic now. 
Let's see how well he handles it. Penguin is a little bit back there. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be much for him to try to catch up. And you know this track is getting rutted. It's getting very gnarly. Uh, we still have a lot of racing left. I mean, we're we're halfway through the moto, but 10 minutes is quite a bit. Um, so let's check in with Mojo. It's taking a while for these auto cameras to um, to catch up to the rider. Let's just stick in free cam mode for now. We have a battle. Uh, between Phil and Kay Vonga for what appears to be a fifth place position, possibly. Uh, Paradox, if you're still with me, try to keep eyes on the battle between Hunter and Penguin. I want to know if Penguin catches him or if Hunter goes down. Both these riders opt to take the inside, which is the better line choice. And they have caught up to Kyler, so we have a three-way battle for what is probably fifth place between Kyler, Phil, and Kay Vonga. Phil sending it. Ooh, almost pushes Kyler over, and in doing so, put, almost goes over the berm, but he manages to stop. These three riders manage to stay up and in the battle. Can Phil continue to put the pressure on Kyler? Now, this corner up here has been problematic. They both opt to keep it safe. And Phil still ends up going down. Gets a little swap on the front end. Goes over the bars. And now it is a battle between Kyler and Kay Vonga. Let's see what timing and scoring says as we cross the finish line here. Kyler in fifth. Kayvonga, where is he? He must have some cuts or something because it's putting him as one lap down in 23rd. So we'll have to wait till the end of the race to see exactly what the scoring says here. Um, let's find out what's happening elsewhere on the track. One shot currently sits in about 16th. Sending it over Jimbo on the Revo Yamaha. One shot is not playing around. He knows he belongs at the front of the B class, and he is trying everything he can to get there. Updating in 13th, uh, sorry, 14th place. So it looks like where is Rai? There's Mojo. Mojo avoiding a downed rider in the whoops goes off track, but manages to save it. Mojo's Mojo's name in the game is is doing his best Ryan Dungey impression. You don't necessarily have to be the fastest at all times, but you need to be the most consistent. Um, and I can appreciate that riding style. It's going to lead to more victories than losses in the sport of motocross. There is no hunter to be found near Penguin. Okay. So it looks like first, second, and third place, it sounds like, have probably spread out enough that we can check back on them later. Rai is really trying to push it hard and catch up to Zero Wolf. Zero Wolf was sitting in 7th place at the end of the last lap. Rai was in 13th, so we'll see what happens when they cross the finish line here. Zero Wolf obviously representing Factory Goon and is catching up to Snowboard. Um, maybe he, maybe Snowboard caught Zero and Zero went down. Let's see what happens when we cross the finish here. Snowboard moves into 7th. Zero Wolf moves into 6th, so Snowboard's got some cuts somewhere. Rai is in ninth place, Mojo in 10th, and I think Emerald might possibly be a lapper at this time. Timing and scoring shows that Zero Wolf and Kyler are close together, but I really feel like one of them has cuts. Um, so we're going to check on Rai again for just a moment.
I am searching for battles. Pretty good battle here between Rai and uh, Zero Wolf. Um, so it's 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 not a very tight three-way battle, but just in front of Zero Wolf is Snowboard, and then just behind Zero is Rai. So anything could happen right here to make this a much closer battle. Zero oh. Wolf takes a look behind him. What do you got? Uh, the it's a lapper. Never mind. I thought Mojo was battling. So looks like Rai is catching Zero here. Zero Wolf is currently a B-class rider, and Rai is an A-class rider um, by category. So we'll see. Rai feels certain that he belongs ahead of the pack and is doing what he can to get there. Let's see how this goes as he catches up to Zero. Gonna head back to the drone footage here. And you know, Zero Wolf is a B class rider um, by category, but my personal feelings are that he does belong in the A class and could very well compete there. Rai tries to go on the inside, probably could have stuffed Zero a little harder, but kept it respectful. Um, that or Zero Wolf just did his best tank impression and kept the bike up on two wheels. You know, fortunately for these two riders, they weren't neck and neck there because I feel like it would have been bad coming into that corner. But um, <clears throat> Zero Wolf goes inside, Rai goes outside. You see how much eh, he, he caught up a little bit of a gap there. Some people feel like that outside line is faster. The inside line may look faster, but you rail that outside a lot harder and then send it into the coming corner. Zero Wolf takes another look behind him, look over the shoulder, wants to make sure Rai isn't getting too close for comfort. And Zero Wolf almost goes down, boggles over the tabletop, but keeps the bike on two wheels. Comes into the braking bumps. You can see how that can sometimes throw your bike sideways. I can't tell if Rai went down or if he has just depopulated from my from the game here. Uh, I saw the same thing. Mojo has caught... Uh, Mojo is starting to catch up um, to whatever place... This battle is so we've got snowboard in seventh or uh, sorry zero wolf is in sixth snowboard's got to have cuts because physically he is ahead of zero wolf but timing and scoring puts him in eighth um, and maybe Rai disconnected can you check chat for me real quick paradox do we have a disconnection from Rai? I don't see uh, in time affirmative and disqualified oh no disqualified uh, he said so the Dorno cuts might have gotten to him and DQ'd him. I wonder how many other riders that's happened to. I don't have an eye on the events that are occurring in the game, but you know, cuts on this track can sometimes be easy to come by, and I think you automatically disqualify after you get a certain number of them or after so much time has been added up. Um, so it's possible that he has DQ'd. Yeah, he DQ'd. Uh, as well as number 755, whose name I cannot pronounce. I apologize. So let's go back here and see. Zero Wolf and Snowboard are throwing at each other's throat. Oh, and they have got Kvanga in the mix here. All right, let's take a look at this. This is a four-way battle between Snowboard, Kvanga, Zero, Jackson, and Hayden Deegan oh. himself. And Snowboard goes Snowboard, down. Snowboard, unfortunately, goes right. Snowboard. This is so unfortunate. Very unfortunate. <laughs> he is going to be oh, no. very upset about that. Um, he lost at least five spots. See a bike flying from Emerald in the bottom corner. Zero Wolf, I don't know if he's a huge, uh, 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 you know, a huge Deegan fan. Zero Wolf seems more like a... Um, uh, like an old school Deegan fan, and he pushes. I don't know if he tried to go for the intentional takeout there. I don't know if Deegan here is a lapped rider and Zero Wolf is just fed up with it, but either way, that gives the spot to Mojo, um, who is now battling with Kvanga here. <clears throat> uh, let's see how it. Let's see how it goes. Mojo keeps it low in the berm. Deegan 38 is behind him, on him. Pushing into the corner, Deegan goes low, Mojo goes high, Kvanga goes down, Deegan goes down. Mojo is the only one that came out of that corner unscathed and benefited from uh, the mistakes of the other riders. So 
let's see here. We'll take a look behind him. I mean, you know, there's not a huge gap that's been created. Anything could happen to Mojo, and these guys could be right back in the thick of things. But Jackson is uh, is in hot pursuit. Um, we've got Snowboard who has caught back up. Zero Wolf. So I think that crash that Zero Wolf had in the corner allowed Snowboard to come back. Jackson goes down somehow. Let's see, that puts Mojo into... Man, I just don't trust this timing and scoring. It says Mojo's in 16th. Um, I don't know. If don't it think... is the case, uh, Mojo's red plates are at risk now that one shot is three points behind him for the red plates. Uh, one shot is 10th. So if those positions stay like so, uh, one shot will gain the red plates. That's correct. So Mojo is is currently in the lead for the B class points, but one shot was just a few points behind him. Um, and if one shot is in tenth and Mojo is in sixteenth, as the timing and scoring say, then one shot will regain his red plate, which he lost earlier this season. Um, so we'll stick here with Mojo for just a second. So it looks like our 20 minutes are up. We are currently just waiting for Impus to receive the white flag in another lap or two. Uh, in true in true Italian stallion fashion, Impus has received uh, or he, he's gotten the lead and he has checked out. So he's looking to add another first place finish here to round five. Um, not sure how McManus's night is going at the PDMX racetrack, but uh, both McManus and Impus were in a friendly battle for the Dorno World Record lap time earlier this week. And so if anybody could have given Impus a challenge here, it would have been McManus. The world may never know what could come of it. Uh, no sweat off Impus is back though. He'll take the he'll he'll take the easy points and the um, the the further gap. Uh, in the A-class points. So we are down to two laps. So we've got the rest of this lap for Impus, plus one more. Let's see what else is happening on the track. We've got Penguin in third, Phil in fourth, quite... Uh, it says nine seconds, ten seconds back or so. Let's go to GP and Zero here. Uh, and one shot. One shot might have caught Zero. We have we have just two laps left, and we still have a battle here between Snowboard, Jackson, Zero, and one shot went down. Got sideways in the braking bumps. Impus, Impus is lapping the field up to easily up to ninth place. My goodness. Snowboard goes off track, re-enters. Zero Wolf seems to have benefited from all of that by keeping it up on two wheels. Jackson's still ahead of Zero, so... About a lap and a half here in the in the final race for tonight. Let's see if Jackson can keep it. Keep the position here. Impus is still coming in hot. So Impus doesn't really have to worry about the pressure to get around these lappers. Uh, but I know it for certain... Down. Who went down? Impus. Impus goes down, okay. Impus doesn't have to worry about the pressure to get around these lappers, but he's certainly not just going to... Um, you know, fall in line behind them. So the white flag is out. We have one lap left here. Let's take it back over to Jackson and Zero. Let's see if there's anything happening a little more intense back here. There goes Snowboard. There goes One Shot. Impus. Oh man, and Murph went down. Haven't really talked much about Murph tonight. Um... Murph wasn't sure if he was going to make it. Fortunately, he is here. We've got Snowboard and One Shot and Impus. So, Impus is Impus is just making the laps, cruising, cruising to a first place victory on his final lap. Uh, Jackson, Zero, Snowboard, and One Shot are still relatively far spaced, but let's see if One Shot can make the pass on Snowboard on this final lap here. Maybe uh, maybe Impus will light the fire under one shot. That'll get him the momentum he needs to catch up to Snowboard and make the pass. Is this an accurate battle? Can you keep eyes on... I'm going to try to get them both in the frame here, but I don't know if it'll work. I want to see if Mojo and GP are having a legitimate battle here. 
snowboard one shot let's see if mojo gets the white flag or the checkers here should be the white Kyler and Jackson so has Jackson caught Kyler that should be the checker no it wouldn't be it'll be the white flag let's keep eyes here on Jackson and Kyler after they came across the finish line this is a battle for seventh place here Mojo and Jeep are still going at it oh Mojo goes down and Mojo goes down in the corner I did catch that okay so Jackson was in front, got a little squirrely. I don't know if he went down or not, but Kyler definitely took the position. Let's see, this is Penguin and Phil. I don't think Phil is going to be able to bring it back on Penguin here just at the very end of the race. Unless Penguin goes down in this corner. No, so that should be the end of that. And... Our second place is done. Our third place as well. So we're back here to Kyler. Somehow, oh wait, maybe Mojo kept it up front. I don't think they passed him when he went down. So this is the last hoorah here for Jackson and Kyler as they come into... Uh, two more corners remaining. It looks like Kyler is going to stick with his position. Timing and scoring shows Kyler finishes in fifth, Jackson in sixth. Something happened to Hunter? Uh, ooh, Cuts got the best of Kyler and Jackson. Zero Wolf gets fifth. Snowboard in eighth. What, what happened to Hunter? One shot, just kind of ghosting, just cruising over the finish line. I think everybody is probably tired of this track. Nobody wants to hear the word Dorno again. Um, so we are just waiting for the last remaining riders to cross the finish line here. Let's see who we still have left on the track. Jimbo. It turned to a ghost town pretty quickly. Murph. Mojo. Man. So Hunter might have finished ninth. It's hard to say. A lot of disqualifications came out. So I think Cut's got the best of these boys. Uh, Emerald is gone. Deegan is gone. Rufy is gone. It's number 755. Uh, Rai is gone. Mythic is gone. Still 21 riders. Uh, more like 18, I think. Panda, Andy, and Philip might not have lasted very long in the race. Something might have happened to K Vanga. He might have disconnected. So I think Mojo crossing the finish line is the last of it. So we will send it back to the results tab and capture our scoring yeah I did sorry I didn't realize I had my impus overlay up the entire time all right um, so real quick while we kind of break down everything that happened in that race we are going to run one final set of quote unquote commercials and this is known for checking out as quickly as he possibly can, so these guys are going to have to do everything they can to prevent that. I want to stay with this battle for a bit because I know McManus's capability and he is going to do everything he can to get by Hunter as quickly as possible because this is the man he wants right here. McManus wants to do everything he can to catch up to Impus and show him who is really the factory goon factory rider. Impus goes down. Impus is down on the hill. But McManus is a man on a mission. He has one goal in mind. 
and it is the Italian Stallion Impus. And he is locked in, boys. He His targeting systems are on. Heat-seeking missiles are coming out of the back of the exhaust. There's a real cool club on the other side of town where the real cool kids gotta sit around and talk bad about the other kids. Yeah, it's a real cool club and you're not part of it. Hey guys, Vox here from Factory Goon. I know what you're thinking. Who is Vox and why is his mic quality trash? See, the answer to your question is exactly. See, I was just a nobody. That is, until Factory Goon made me a good looking nobody. Now, I can enjoy benefits such as 0% off of Doritos and Mountain Dew products at my local gas station. But hey, don't take my word for it. Let's hear from others on how Factory Goon changed their lives forever. Salut tout le monde, c'est Paradox, ici avec Factory Goon. Factory Goon a changé ma vie en m'offrant des motos et de l'équipement de l'équipe. Maintenant que je vais sur la piste, toutes les filles viennent voir mon équipement. What? Yeah, yeah, Factory Goon something, something. Why won't this f***ing layer rasterize? Round three at the Backyard MX Championship at Washington. Boys, the gate is packed for the new class. But hopefully that doesn't... Oh, oh Basil's down! Basil's down. Oh, 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 sir. There's Tom oh, Jaden oh, down. Oh, oh, down. TFB's down. Looks like Tyler has grabbed the whole shot and is starting to check out.
So again, everybody, thank you all so much for tuning into the stream. Thank you to everybody who participated in tonight's races. Um, I've said it before, but I'll say it again. We're really trying to grow the series, so obviously we're going to go through some growing pains. We want everybody to, number one, we want Backyard MX to be a place where any rider of any skill level can compete. Clearly there is a desire for such a, for such a uh, race series because it has blown up astronomically. We are in round five and can barely contain the classes here. Um, we are looking for more A-class riders, of course. So, if you know, you know anybody from from uh, PDMX series who is interested in riding backyard, you've probably got a welcome spot in the A-class. Anybody else who wants to try to compete in the A-class is welcome to do so. Um, there's going to be growing pains in the first series for sure. So, really, it's just you know this this first series is us trying to calibrate how things need to go in the future. We've got a lot of good feedback, and we're going to make a lot of changes to the way that we are doing things um, in the future. And it's all thanks to um, everything that you guys have done to help us grow it, whether it be viewers or riders who are actually participating in the races. Um, so stay tuned for more to come from this series. Thank you to everybody who has helped grow the series and helped, um, you know, helped by participating. Um, you know, we want it to be something where people can already feel like they have a competitive chance. You know, people who are, are in, uh, in a chase for, you know, a point series in their respective class. Um, but also, there's going to be situations that will occur that may, um, you know, put a hindrance on that. So I think the utmost importance of this first series is just having fun recognizing that you're a part of something that's helping uh, grow the MX Bikes community. You're helping us grow an amateur race series where anybody can compete. Um, and, and we appreciate that. I appreciate that more than I can um, really express. I put in a lot of time trying to make sure that this, uh, this commentary stream was, you know, something, of, uh, something worth watching. Rider overlays, profiles. In the future, I think we want to do rider interviews for mid-race. So... We're doing everything we can to make it not only a series that riders want to join and compete in, but spectators also want to tune in and watch. So, 